السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر آئی ہوپ آل آف یو گائز آر ڈوئنگ فائن سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ سیکشن نمبر فور اینڈ دا نیم آف سیکشن نمبر فور از سافٹ ویئر اینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی ووڈ بی ڈسکسنگ سیکشن نمبر فور پوائنٹ ون ٹائپس آف سافٹ ویئر اینڈ انٹرپٹس A software is the collection of data, programs, procedures, routines and instructions that tell a computer or an electronic device how to run or how to work and execute specific tasks. This is in contrast to hardware which is the physical system and components that perform the work. In general, A computer system is initially made up of hardware on top of which resides the firmware the firmware then loads up system software this is a basic diagram first of all we have the hardware on top of it somewhere we have firmware firmware is the uh, factory or the default settings which are <coughs> embedded onto the rom chip of a device and that chip the work of that chip is to run the startup sequence or the startup routine and then load system software uh, means your operating system on top of operating system uh, resides different application softwares like ms office uh, your browsers your media players etc and then comes the user which is using those softwares in order to perform some tasks so this you need to remember that a computer system is initially made up of hardware on top of which resides the firmware the firmware loads up system software uh, which runs different application softwares which are used by the user to perform different tasks now there are two types of softwares or there are two categories of software the first one is syst our system software and the other one are application software as given in the diagram so system software provides a platform for other softwares and includes the programs managing the computer itself such as the computer's operating system file management utilities and dos dos or disk operating system the programs in system software is encompasses assemblers compilers file management tools system utilities and debuggers these are all examples of system softwares system software is the very es essential for a computer and creates a platform that apps sit inside if you would not be having system software or an operating system that you cannot run different softwares or application software on your uh, device it basically provides a communication bridge between the user and hardware the next is the application software it is a software program or group of programs designed for end users these programs are directly used by the user and when they are run they perform some specific functionality or task for the user there are many types of application software such as spreadsheet software word processing software entertainment software educational software games and so on examples of system software it includes device drivers it is a type of software that controls a particular hardware which is attached to the system for example if you have keyboard attached with your system then there is some form of software that is allowing the keyboard to communicate with your processor or that is telling the processor which key is pressed if you are having a cd or dvd or rom in your computer then there has to be a specific piece of code or a specific software or a driver for that rom driver software for that rom which uh, lets the operating system communicate with that uh, cd or dvd rom 
and read the information information present on that CD or DVD which is placed inside it. If you uninstall the device driver, then your operating system would not be able to read the data if you place a CD or DVD inside that ROM. Similarly, uh, when you install a new when you buy a new printer, then you have to install its driver first. If you do not install its driver, then you would not be able to use your printer. Hardware devices that need a driver to connect to a system include display, sound cards, printer, mice, hard disks, keyboard, etc. The next type of example of system software is a firmware. It is the permanent software that is embedded into a read-only memory, means onto the ROM. It is a set of instructions permanently stored on a hardware device. It provides essential information regarding how the device interacts with other hardware and how to load and run operating system for system startup. An example of it is the BIOS, basic input output screen, yes, system program. Then we have programming language translators. These are me, uh, mediator programs on which software programs rely to translate high level language code to simple machine level code. Then we have different utility programs or utilities. These softwares are designed to aid in analyzing, optimizing, configuring and maintaining a computer system. They support the computer infrastructure, for example, disk cleanup, for example, disk defragmentation or disk defragmenter and so on. This software focuses on how an OS operating system functions and then accordingly it decides its trajectory to smoothen the functioning of the system. Softwares like antiviruses, disk cleanup, management tools, compression tools, defragmenters, etc. are all utility tools. Now, what does a disk defragmenter does? When a program saves a file on a disk, it puts the file into an empty space on the disk. When it saves changes to the file, it saves changes to another empty space on the disk. Each time it saves the file, it puts information about it into whatever large empty space on the disk it can find. As we have studied inside the hard drive, there are metallic platters which are spinning and data is saved in form of tracks and sectors. So one file is not always saved in consecutive tracks. Because the different pieces of files are separated or fragmented, opening and reading the file can get slower and slower. The solution is to defragment the disk. Disk defragmentation takes all the pieces of each file and stores them in one place. It also makes sure that programs are each in one place and that unused space is all together. like this before the fragmentation as you can see a single color represents one file the green file is one part is over here second is over here one is over here one is over here over here over here over here blue is also scattered red is also scattered after you run the defragmentation the green is all together the blue program or file is all together the red one all pieces are all together in a sequence and the empty space is also compiled into one place <coughs> next type of software we have is a screen saver it is a computer program that blanks the display or fills it with moving images or pattern when the computer has been idle for a designated time the original purpose of screensaver was to prevent phosphor or phosphorus burn on CRT or plasma computer monitors. The old computer monitors which were very fat and which used to have a cathode ray tube, if they ran on for too long idly then they, this could cause a phosphorus burn or a pixel deformation. So to save that 
they developed special utilities known as screen savers which would avoid that it is now used as a way to prevent viewing of desktop content while the user is away as desktop screen is automatically locked if the computer is left idle for a specific a specified time nowadays we use lcds and leds which do not have a crt cathode ray tube hence there is no chance of a phosphorus burn so now we just use them to hide our monitor screens instead of using for them for any other purpose essentially application software run on operating system while the operating system itself runs on the firmware or the bootloader the firmware is also known as bootloader then examples of these were the examples of utilities screen saver disk defragmentation and uh, antivirus disk cleanup now we have application softwares the first one is word processors these applications are used for documentation along with that it also helps in storing formatting and printing documents database softwares which are used to create and manage databases it is also known as the dbms or database management system they help with the organization of data and then we have multimedia softwares it is a software that is able to play create or record images audio or video or animation files they are used for video editing animation graphics and image editing then we have education and reference softwares we, these softwares are specifically designed to facilitate learning on a particular subject such as encyclopedias such as educational games tutorial softwares training softwares and so on training simulations and so on they are also termed as academic softwares then we have graphic softwares these are softwares which have been devised to work with graphics as it helps the user to edit or make changes in visual data or images it consists of Uh, picture editors and illustration softwares such as Adobe Photoshop, such as Adobe Illustrator, and so on. Then we have web browsers. These applications are used to browse the internet. They help the user in locating and retrieving and in, in data across the web. Without a web browser, you cannot uh, connect with the internet or display. You can connect with the internet, but you would be unable to fetch a web. pages and open them then we have a system these are the application softwares and next we have the system software or the operating system what is an operating system a software that runs in background on the computer and manages basic functionalities of a computer there are many 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 tasks performed by an operating system some of them are to create a communication bridge between user and hardware it, it enables multitasking <coughs> it enables multi programming multitasking means handling more than one tasks at the same time this is especially true in terms of cored cpus when there are four or eight cores or six cores available and each core handles a different task at the same time and multi programming means that you are able to open different softwares or different programs at the same time the handles batch processing means same action can be applied to a whole batch of files it handles errors it has file management mem memory management processor management it handles security it handles user management and real time processing you just need to remember any four of these as the examiner usually asks for two three or four tasks that are performed by an operating system next we have is an interrupt what is an interrupt it is a signal generated by a software or a device means hardware that is sent to the processor and it causes the processor to temporarily halt all other processes it is doing and attend to the interrupt it is just like an sos signal or an emergency signal 
Examples of interrupt can be battery low error when you are using your laptop and you are about to run out of your battery uh, error pops up in front of your screen and everything which you are doing goes into the background for a few seconds such as file not found error printer out of paper error or paper jam in printer error or printer lower low on ink error these are all types of interrupts when a device sends an interrupt signal for instance when a user presses a key on a keyboard the interrupt is collected by an interrupt handler and an interrupt service routine or ISR is carried out. This usually involves the interrupt being assigned a place in a queue so that the handler can decide which interrupt is the has the highest priority. The contents of PC program counter and other registers are saved such as MDR and um, MAR are saved, CIR is saved then the interrupt service routine ISR is executed by loading the start address into the program counter. The interrupts are then handled according to their importance. The most top ranking interrupts address is loaded into the content of uh, into the PC program counter and from there the instruction is passed and then uh, it is processed by in CIR and then the next interrupt and then the next and then and next and so on this only happens if you have more than one interrupts at the same time if you just have one interrupt then it is directly processed the interrupts are then handled according to their importance when the interrupt has been fully serviced the status of the interrupt task is reinstated the contents of all the saved registers are retrieved and the process continues whatever the uh, processor was doing before handling the interrupt it goes back to doing that work this process happens so fast that it is impossible for a user to notice that the operating system has been interrupted temporarily interrupt priority the priority assigned to an interrupt are given on a given a priority so that the so that the microprocessor knows which one needs to be serviced first and which interrupts are to be dealt with quickly those interrupts which are uh, of an emergency status they are given a high priority priority ranking or a high priority is assigned to them so they are handled instantly service when an interrupt is received some action needs to be taken by the processor depending on what caused the interrupt until this is resolved which is known as uh, being serviced the interrupt cannot be removed to allow the processor to continue interrupt service routine ISR a software that handles interrupt requests for example for example when the printer is out of paper so the ISR sends a signal it receives a signal from the printer and sends it to the printer uh, sorry to the microprocessor by issuing an what you can say by issuing a priority status to it it sends and sends the request to the CPU for processing it. Last but not the least, you need to know about buffers. A buffer is simply a temporary storage area in a computer or on a device such as in a printer. Buffers can both be physical and inside a software. Similarly, interrupts can also be hardware based and interrupts can be software based as well. Like for example, you double click on a file but after a few minutes an error pop on the screen file not found let's suppose you double uh, you double clicked on a shortcut present on your desktop but you have removed the original file f or moved it to another location so what happens the computer would not find the contents of that file at the specified location hence it would generate an interrupt that I cannot find the file and you would be given that error now this is a software based interrupt that the data behind the file is missing. Another type of software based interrupt is when you try to open 
a very huge software or very big game then sometimes your computer hangs and it shows an error not program not responding that is a software based interrupt printer is out of paper printer is low on ink cannot communicate with the scanner device uh, or laptop on low battery or your cell phone the low battery error on your uh, laptop or on your device or on your handheld device such as your cell phone these are the types of interrupts which are hardware based last but not the least uh, another an important task of operating system is human computer interaction or hci it deals with how a user is able to interact with the computer or pass different commands to it or there are two possible ways for this cli and gui cli is the word used for command line interface it permits user to put in a writing commands exceedingly in terminals or console windows to interact with an operating system dos or disk operating system is an example of this dos do not have a graphical user interface or it doesn't have icons it just have a black screen where you are supposed to write commands that what you want the computer to do whereas the normal windows we use it uh, uses gui or graphical user interface which have uh, many icons which have uh, a mouse to and a pointer to click on those icons and interact with the computer it permits users to use the graphics to interact with an operating system in gui menus are provided such as windows scroll bars buttons wizards painting pictures alternative icons etc so that's it for section 4.1 I hope you have understood everything if you have any problem feel free to ask me and you should know the difference between these two this is important I'll see you guys in the next lecture take care Allah Hafiz